Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from Snorkel.tv and I just want to give you a little uh, teaser preview of what we're going to be talking about very shortly. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of tutorials on Bulletproof Timeline Max navigation. All right, A lot of people ask me questions about what's the best way to do page transitions in their animations. I don't know if I have the best way, but I have a way that's fairly bulletproof. And what we're going to be doing is starting out with a very simple um, timeline based animation and you'll see here it's one timeline that just plays through all these various sections. I'll show that one more time. So each section of this mini site here has you know its own little build, objects fade out and then the new section comes in. What we're going to be doing is talking about three different ways of allowing your users to navigate between these various sections. Uh, the easiest way is just a jump to section tween like you'll see right here, where I can go to blog and then go to a portfolio and about. So what happens is every section transitions in, but there's no transition out. So if I go to portfolio and while it is playing, if I jump to blog, it just instantly jumps there. So while a transition is happening, um, it just gets interrupted and we go to the next section. All right, so that's gonna work out for pretty much most everybody's basic purposes. But with Timeline Max, we have so much more control. So what I want to show you is our reverse transition out. And what this allows to do is to have a um, build play in reverse. So if I want to go to blog, you'll see that that animation just rewinds. And then I go to the next section. I go to about. The current section will reverse out. And then the requested section will tween in. So let's get the idea here. So whenever a section is building, I can tween out of it. If home is building, oh, I want to go to blog, it goes back. And what I want to point out too is that it rewinds at double speed. So there's nothing worse than waiting for an animation to end. So we don't want to go too crazy on these transitions. But this is my reverse out before the next section loads in. Lastly, what we're going to do is really the uh, mother of all page transitions is this. Um, we have our in-out, reverse-out. And you'll see here that the home screen finished its build. And now if I go to about, the transition out is totally different. When I go to portfolio, that transition out is totally different. If I go to blog, totally different effects here. So. If I'm waiting for portfolio to build and I go to blog, it reverses. But once portfolio has fully built or transitioned in, going to about plays an entirely different sequence. So we have lots of options here. If I go to blog, there you go, it comes in. And when it goes out, you'll notice now that it scales out. But if I had it coming in and then I went, whoops, you'll see that we have that rewind there. So. Whenever we're in a current section, if it's totally built, we have a custom out animation. If we do navigation while a section is building, it will rewind. So let's go to portfolio. And notice here too, it's I can click really quickly. If I click on about and that makes portfolio go out, well, if I change my mind and choose blog, watch what happens. So I'm gonna go to about, say nope, go to blog and it knows to bring in blog next. Okay, and we can do really quick clicking all over the place and it always knows the last section that I clicked on. Oops. So it works really, really fluidly. All right, so that's what's coming up. Hopefully I'll have uh, one or two of these ready to go uh, tomorrow. Um, we'll try to get more in quicker, uh, but it took a lot of work to set this stuff up. But I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to uh, build these things. All right, and just if you want to see how this first file is built, the basics of the timeline, we have literally individual movie clips here sitting on the stage for each section, and they all contain their child movie clips, which we perform various tweens on. And if we go to my action script code, you'll see that it's just one big, long timeline. Let's just do it, uh, option F9. Boom, 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 boom. And this is what it looks like. All right. 
So we have our timeline and we have some labels which are really going to help us go in and out of different sections. So we animate in our home section and then we have a very simple animate out. And for vlog in, we have vlog complete. And we'll talk about what all this means in the real tutorial. Uh, but hopefully you guys are excited about all there is to do with Timeline Max. I'll catch you soon.